hello scorpios welcome back welcome back we're gonna jump into your next 12 hours and i know this is kind of different but your girl is just sitting on the floor right now uncomfortable as whatever but it's okay it's okay it's here in a quiet place i'm not at home right now and i really want to get into your videos if i don't do them tonight then i'm probably gonna switch it up tomorrow and i don't want to be like um I'm, I think I'm doing a good job. I don't want to lose my focus on the channel like I usually do. So I want to really keep up the videos here. So let's just tap into the next 12, right? For their first video. Well, your second video of the day. Okay, so Scorpio's energy for the next 12. And lucky, lucky, lucky. The Two of Cups energy. So a lot of you are definitely going into this energy of wanting to be with someone that you're connected with um this is someone that you're missing this is someone that you want to be with you know that is coming up here in the two of cups this is mutual feelings as well this is what i'm feeling i feel like this is like when i see this card i don't see like you guys are you know in different places or i feel like when it comes to your emotions you're definitely diving in the same way okay so let's see what we have for you. Scorpio's Holy Spirit. What's going on for Scorpio's energy today? In the next 12. So for those of you who are single, um, someone is coming in. Someone is coming in. This could be a past or a future. So we're going to find out more in a little bit. Tell me more about this energy. Tell me more about this energy. Okay, let's see what we have for you. The hair is getting on my nerves again. So you have the temperance here. So divine timing is at play for this connection. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing the Four of Cups energy as well. So a lot of you are definitely feeling like when it comes to love, you guys are not getting what you're supposed to get or not feeling like you are getting the attention that you give to other people. But I'm seeing like this union between you and this person is supposed to be, um, that is supposed to be planned, okay? This could be a Sag energy for those of you. It doesn't have to be. Just saying like a sign that I'm seeing here, you know? Um, Sag energy is within a, t a temperance right here. Fire energy. A lot of passion towards you, um, per se. <sighs> Your angels are also getting involved here. This could be number 16 or 16 that is like significant to this um, reading. Tell me more. Holy Spirit, what's going on? So someone is in love. Somebody wants to give an offer. But for some reason, this person is giving you the Four of Cups or you've been waiting a long time for this person to actually come through or come back. And I'm feeling like you've been waiting for so long, you know, within this energy. My mom dogs just came in here. Ah! Uh, okay okay future you want to say hi you want to say hi? <laughs> he's such a baby okay so i'm definitely seeing like you've been waiting a long time and the crazy thing about this one is it doesn't have to be someone that you know this could also be this is an energy that you've been manifesting and wanting this person to come in and 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 suddenly they're showing up in your next 12 like this person is closer than you think, you know, your soulmate. So let's see. Let's see what this is because I feel like with the Four of Cups too, like this could be someone that you know because the way you're looking at them in the Four of Cups energy is like, okay, I've been waiting forever and they're not coming towards me, so I'm ready to move forward. That's the energy. You're like, you're ready to move forward. All right, so let's see. Something just flipped here. Self-love. 
So a lot of you have been really damaged, you know, or really going through it with your self-esteem because of, you know, disappointments in the Four of Cups. So it's like you're trying to take care of yourself now. Tell me more about this, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this energy. This could be a marriage, you guys. You see what I'm saying? This could be a marriage, a new beginning here, a new love also. So I'm picking up two different energies. This could be a marriage, but this could be an opportunity with this marriage coming back together. I'm also feeling like this could be a new opportunity with you and someone new. For those of you who don't have someone, okay, in the next 12, like someone is coming in. This is new love, this new opportunity. Tell me more. It's like you were at a point of just accepting how life was and then this happened. Yeah, you surrendered. You know, you were like giving up on love, giving up on the situation. And then this person just came on in. Um, and you're excited about this. Finally. <laughs> Fireworks. This is what I'm seeing. Attraction. Sparks. Chemistry. Okay. So family is coming up too. For those of you who are already tied to someone, I feel like. This opportunity or this union or this getting back together, waiting for this person to get it together. It's like your thing is, this is what I'm hearing, is like your thing is not about yourself, which it should be. But you're really like using this like, I care about my family, which is fine. But at the same time, if you're not well and if you're not happy, your family is not going to be happy, if that makes sense. You can't bring yourself through disappointment and stress and depression just because you are using the excuse that I'll I'll be unhappy, but as long as my family is okay, I'm okay. And that is not true. Look, like, let's hear how that sounds. Like, you need to be at your best so your family could be at your best. And it's not about being selfish. It's about taking care of self. And I'm seeing self-love here is needed for those of you who are fighting this form of energy in the next 12. I'm seeing some kind of toxic situation here that is someone of, like, a lot of you are accepting too. Some kind of negative force of energy, manipulation, someone that could be your narcissist, this could be someone that you are with, okay? For those of you who are, have been waiting for someone to come back to them, a Pacific person from the past, okay? And you're like settling for this person you know, flowing with the situation. Surrender in yourself, not trying to fight anymore, not trying to fight for a change anymore. It is what it is, this is what I'm being told. That's the form of energy that I'm picking up. So, let's see, Scorpios. Scorpios, what's going on here? Next 12. For Scorpios. For Scorpios. Next 12. Holy Spirit, thank you. Something is coming in, Scorpio. Something fast. This is what I was seeing here. Like something fast was coming in. Some kind of news. There's going to be a huge opportunity coming up for you. And I feel like you got to work on yourself this is going to give you a chance to work on yourself because you lost your independence you've lost your identity there's so many things that needs to be closed here so many things that you need to work on in a ten of swords energy uh a lot of you could be dealing with an aquarius doesn't have to be but i feel like this is being triggered because this person is not giving you the time of day right now and it's like that's why you're so pissed because you've been waiting, waiting for this person under a tree in secret. That's another thing that I'm picking up. Okay, so Scorpio, next 12. What's going on for Scorpio, next 12? Scorpio, next 12 hours. Look at this. Look at this. I was pulling from the back and now I'm getting these cards so it's like need to be here yeah your identity your power your independence oh my gosh now i'm getting these in reverse 
I'm seeing like you are still the same. Like you need to really focus on your sun, your light, your bliss. You know, your, your nurture inside and just continue to be kind and happy. This is what I'm seeing for you, okay? I feel like this person or whoever this is didn't change you in that way, but it was pretty close. But I'm seeing like you're taking up the initiative to heal. So this is something good so you can get back that, that power, right? Within the present moment. But in the future, when I was pulling from the future, I felt like, you know what? You fell back a little bit. So you need to like really pay attention to this. And just because you feel like you are at a place where you could handle everything um, and you're trying and you're actually... And you actually went through a lot of trauma and you're trying to heal. Healing is a, a constant, you know, um, thing that you would need in your life to really just keep on top of it. It's like you you're have this form of addiction and you always need to, to get some kind of, you know, um, routine in, right? To keep you on the right path. And it's the same thing as healing. Healing never stops, right? But the thing about healing is like when you're at a, a higher vibration because you've been doing it for so long... Whenever there's a storm coming, um, a transition coming, you're going to handle it much better than if you are at a lower vibration where you can fall into depression and stress and anxiety and just like it takes a long time for you to get out of it. And some cases, some people, you know, it's, it's so affect them so crazy that they, lo they lose everything in, in meanwhile as this, this transition, this change is happening because they can't focus, they can't work. And everything that they have built within their life, they kind of like watch fall apart. So you just need to make sure, um, Scorpio, that you are healing. Like you are constantly healing with the Ten of Swords energy. You know, even though you're doing a good job here, this is what I'm seeing in the present moment. But in the future, you kind of like, you know, this person kind of stuck around and kind of put you in a place where psh, you're back into like, like the beginning. Because I'm seeing here... With the two of cups like this is not someone that you want to be separated from this is someone that you want to be with so it's like a form of addiction i feel like some kind of codependence codependency too with this toxic um vibration that i'm seeing for those of you so be careful of this toxic toxic energy okay for those of you who are married and going through some kind of energy that is very toxic but i'm seeing some of you are going to be going to some new relationship that might have this form of energy too. It might look great and feel good in the beginning and then you're experiencing a lot of transitions. So either way, for those of you married or not, you need to stay on top of your healing, okay? Um, in the present moment, the star is looking really dim right now. This is what you're saying to me. And then in the future, you're going to have a huge opportunity to heal back or to get yourself back, okay? So right now, your energy is looking really good. Very powerful energy. I feel like morally, in the back of the deck, me telling you what's going on in the future, you need to like, it's more like a warning. <laughs> a warning, okay? All right, so. Okay, so tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. For Scorpio, next 12. Yes, divine, yes, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. Thank you for using me, Holy Spirit. Oh my gosh. The Holy Spirit has gave me... I just realized the other day, you guys, that the Holy Spirit have gave me a huge responsibility. When you're on here and you're doing readings for... Sometimes you start and you're just talking to yourself and then suddenly the Spirit is giving you so much of their beautiful souls like you. Like, a lot of you. Like, I realized that I... I look at my channel I'm like, damn. <laughs> So imagine those people that has like a million followers and they're like, that's like a huge responsibility from the divine. Like the divine says, okay, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of my people to guide. <laughs> and that's how I feel when I look at you guys. I'm just like me. Oh my God. The divine I didn't know this was going to happen, honestly, because when I first started, I know for those of you, and I hope you guys don't mind me talking to you because I just love talking to y'all. But when I first started the channel, you guys, I was just like, give me 3000 subscribers. This it. That's all I wanted. And then I passed 3000. I was like, 
5,000? Oh my god. And it's like, I just wanted 3,000. If I was like, if I have 3,000, I'm so good. And here I am. Here I am. So I'm not one of those readers that are just, I don't know. I'm not saying anybody else, but me, I'm so grateful for y'all. And, but I, at the same time, I'm not going to deal with any disrespect. I am not going to deal with any disrespect because I know like the true followers, the one that been with me for such a long time and you know everything about me, you guys are very protective. I see y'all. Like anybody come on this channel and start saying something negative about me, y'all be, y'all be attacking them like, oh my God. So I know like when I get rude. Um, emails or something like that it's not y'all it's not y'all so I just want to say that maybe that someone needed that testimony for those of you who want to start up a channel because I have a lot of y'all that you know we talk and you're telling me that you're very spiritual and I can see it in the cards too and it's like I'm telling you like you're supposed to do what I'm doing like what is taking forever <laughs> like why are you scared don't be scared of the divine you know you're very spiritual and here you are you know it's just like i'm i feel like this message like don't be scared y'all i was to to show my face to do what i do knowing that i come from a family of church and judgment so but here i am <laughs> doing what i do and i love what i do love what i do all right let's just continue because i'm like talking talking Tell me more, Holy Spirit, for Scorpio 12. So this past energy, I'm getting like for some of you, this past energy cheated on you once before. This is why, you know, you were having issues or you were waiting for this person because they weren't quite sure if this was what they wanted, like this connection with you. And I feel like you're on the path of not only forgiving this person, but forgiving yourself first. And this is what the self-love is all about. I feel like for those of you that are not married to this person, and um, I feel like there's someone else coming in for you, like someone else from your past that you have. It's like a karmic effect. Like you have to like release this energy or have some kind of clarity to move forward. Yeah, some of you are dealing with a friend or some kind of um, energy in the Six of Cups, you know. So this could be someone that you really had a childhood um, life with, you know. Someone that you went to high school with. Someone that you grew up with. Someone that you used to play tag with, for God's sake. Now there was like... And all throughout all of this, you know what I'm getting? Like throughout all of this, this person is confused who they, what they're doing, what they want. And I'm also hearing like this person, you know, for those of you who are married, you've been married for a while, a long time, and they need time apart now. That's what they're trying to like express to you. Like they feel like you've been in their lives for forever and they just need to explore. But it's like you're confused because you're married. You know, you're married, you've been together. They, there's, I'm getting like a selfish energy because they're thinking like they need time for themselves to actually live because they feel like you took all their lives, their days away. But they don't understand that you are in the same situation. So for them to just get up and go and, and just leave you by yourself, you kind of like, you feel used, you feel unappreciated, you feel like you have invested so much years with this person and they're so they're talking about they want to explore but you're in the process of forgiving this person yeah i'm seeing peace and solitude with you so a lot of you are like releasing this energy or just like again surrendering this energy this is a toxic energy I feel like you are so, a lot of you are so mad at this person. This person betrayed you, but betrayed your trust. I've been getting this betrayed card all damn day. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
sorry holy spirit sorry but i'm hearing it's time to set healthy boundaries it's time to actually speak up it's time to actually speak your mind you guys you've been letting this person walk all over you or having their way trying to keep the peace but it's time for you to speak up why am i seeing you alone like i'm hearing like seeing you alone doing everything like a lot of you are wearing a, like a ring on your finger and you're just not even like just doing everything by yourself this person is challenging you you feel a challenge like they're challenging you and you're at your breaking point. And it's time for you to set healthy boundaries. This is what the healthy boundaries is all about. This is why you need to say stop. I'm here to stop crying. Don't cry anymore. Someone in here is crying. In the next 12 hours, you need to know to stop crying. Scorpio. Wow. And you, for you to cry, Scorpio. This person is really hurting you because you are one of those signs that, you know, yeah, you're emotional and you're sensitive. But at the same time, it takes a lot for them to get under that skin. So you must really care about this person's energy. Yeah, you love them. You love them. You love them a lot. You love this person. You looked at this person once as your star. Like you thought that everything about this person, like this person was your everything. You nurtured this person. I'm also getting like this person did everything for you. Everything for you. is afraid to approach you yeah they look at you as the nine of cups yeah you are their fulfillment but so many things have gone wrong within this connection this 11 11 energy they still want to make things work here they look at you as nine of pentacles too even though it's like i pulled this energy for you but i, I just it is what it is here. This is how you're appearing right now in the present moment. So you're appearing to be very strong and nice and just like, uh, you don't deserve anything that this person is putting you through. This person has a lot of healing to do and it's a lot to do with themselves and not even you. You know what I'm seeing? Like this person is losing who they are. I'm seeing codependency, like this person was codependent over you or codependent with you. Hi. Oh my god, what am I? Like this person was like this you are shown up as a nine of pentacles. Nine of cups. I'm getting twenty two here. Twenty two years. Ten ten two, yeah. Two yeah, twenty two. Because you're showing up as very strong right now in the present moment. What I'm concerned about is the future. Because it, like that independence kind of shift. And remember we talked about healing. We talked about how important that is. Please, Scorpio. Please, 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 please focus on your healing. I feel like what this is is surprising because right now in the present moment it still seems like there's hope for this connection to get back together. Someone is having dreams, visions at the moment. Dreams, visions. And I'm also seeing divinely divine guidance. 
So your angels are speaking to you, your guides are speaking to you, you're having dreams, you don't know what this is, but they're so detailed, this is something that you don't often remember your dreams, but in this particular instant you wake up, you remember every detail, or something similar to it, and you're like, wow, what is that about, I wonder what that means. You have a secret admirer someone is watching you you guys could be in separation too because of the two the 11 11 here and the next 12 and this person is like wondering how to approach because i'm seeing them like not consistent so because i'm seeing like there is like the divine is getting you guys back together you don't have to be married too because a two of cups for me is someone that looks at you as one and yes, you could be married to this person, but because it's the Two of Cups and the Temperance here, I'm definitely feeling like this is a divine, divine connection that is being divinely guided to you, okay? Like, you guys need to make this work this time. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing from your angels. Like, yeah, you guys need to get it together this time. When we put you guys together this time, like, you need to make it work. happiness Ooh, happiness i'm also seeing a lot of you i'm seeing single or um not single well i'm seeing friendships and to me that's definitely your friends coming into your life at a certain time when there's just too much going on trying to get you out into like this light fun single energy um, a lot of you might not you just might have some form of conflict with your person But again friends tend to be like, oh, let's forget about that person and just go and have fun And here you are and then you meet someone new But the thing about this is um, <laughs> I feel like <sighs> God Scorpio <laughs> I feel like the person that you're going to meet is this person from your past. Like you're going to have fun and then you bump up into someone that you're trying to get away from. <laughs> That's the universe for you. That's the universe for you. Yep. And I'm seeing like this is going to help you guys to actually get back to where you used to be because I feel like this is how it used to be in the beginning. Like it used to be fun and light. And this is why this person, you like, fell for you. And it's kind of like the universe is trying to have them, them remember that. And you remember that too. Because you're saying like this relationship was pretty boring anyways. Per, like repetitive, like you talked about this, like you needed some kind of excitement. Like this person was like really comfortable with you. And why am I seeing like you guys don't go out? Like, again, you know, I was getting that energy of you and this person just not, like, you are just not with someone, but you're wearing a ring for those of you, or you're in a relationship, you live together, but your house is pretty much, like, cold, not speaking, walking around each other, like, afraid to talk about what's going on here. But yet, the secret is, the gag is that this person looks at you as the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. You know what I'm feeling? Like, this person is so insecure with themselves because of the Nine of Cups with you. They, like, they know they have a lot of responsibility. Like, you are someone that everyone is looking for. And they're, like, wondering, like, why me? Why you choose me? Like, they don't understand why you're with them. I'm seeing, like, some sign of, ugh some kind of celebration here some kind of like when you guys do meet up because i'm seeing like your friends are trying to take you out trying to get you into a positive space then you meet up and it's like sparks i'm seeing the ten of cups i'm seeing the ten of cups with you guys but there's a fear because there's a cycle there's a cycle like this person like make your heart drop before because 
I feel like they've been with you for so long and here they all want to sell it's like separate for those of you this could be about 10 years this could be um what it was two years something about February 10th too or the 10th of the second or they could be their birthday could be on the 10th of the second or the second of the uh, no I'm sorry the second of the 20th or the second of the 10th oh my gosh or the one of the 10th one of the 20th so many numbers or the two of the the 10th the two on the February um, did I, oh my god sorry y'all sorry okay February sec February 10th or February 20th as well fire signs are co are coming up Leo Sag and Aries energy don't have to be but some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Leo or Sag I'm hearing complicated so of course there's a cycle here it's like I'm getting like this um fear that you guys are like grown apart and somebody's like scared that we're oh, we're growing apart or don't want the same things anymore look at that do you want to see what i see do you want to see ten of cups hello i was a shuffling and here the ten of cups are 11 11 baby even though your 11 11 is off here i'm just feeling like you're going to figure this shit out you're going to figure it out you have the nine of the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups, and the, the ten of cups. Scorpio. The angels are saying, look, we're guiding you. Listen, I'm hearing like this little funny <laughs> the way they're saying it is like, Scorpio, we're gonna put your you guys back together. You better make it work this time. <laughs> like they're so like like really like personality wise on the other side. They're like, y'all better get it together, okay? <laughs> the divine timing is at play here for y'all. You guys are in love with each other, but it's just so much differences, and this is what I'm seeing in the next 12. I'm going to do your 24, and I'm going to do your 48. I'm going to try to tonight. So, yeah. If this resonates, go ahead and thumbs it up. If it doesn't resonate, I will have your playlist linked below in the description box. And also, you guys, if you want a personal with me, everything should be in the description box too. The price is before you send an email. So everything should be there. And yeah, I love you guys. And I don't have openings until um, Thursday, okay? Wednesday is pretty booked. Tomorrow is pretty booked. And today is booked. That's why I'm kind of like late with the videos with you scorpios i was doing gemini earlier this morning so they got their videos early but then there's a gap so i try to fit you guys <laughs> and um so tomorrow is booked out and then uh, wednesday is booked out so thursday is my next opening and i think i have two to five through that particular time so let me know if you guys are interested and i will um send you all the details okay bye guys